What's up, y'all? It's Two Sin the Wave Sensei coming to y'all again with another video. And in this video, man, we're doing a product review, a brush review to be to be exact. You know what I'm saying? I love doing these because I love brushes. I have a whole collection of brushes that I've been accumulating since like middle school. I love brushes so much that I messed around and I bought a brush rack from G Row. Y'all, I'll show y'all that soon when I put it up because I don't got everything set up in the crib how I want it. But once I get to that, I'll show y'all that. But right now, let's get into this brush review. Now, a little while back, Persona Worldwide, that's who makes this brush, hit me up in the email, which is extremely unheard of to me at least because most of the brush companies, do rag companies, hair product companies, hit me up in the DM on Instagram. But these folks hit me up in the email and told me they had a brush they like for me to try out and give them they give them my opinion words is hard give them my opinion on so that's what we finna do i'm finna tell you how i like this brush you feel me if i don't like it whoop the whoop stay tuned you dig now first let's get into how the brush feels like the bristles what texture they are this brush is marketed as a medium brush but to me i get a medium soft feel you know what i'm saying i don't get like a firm medium like for example pull it out of my pocket this brush is a royalty this is a medium this is a medium the, br the bristles are stiff not stiff as a hard but these this is a medium brush this does not feel like that this here let me put that brush away this here is a medium soft in my opinion and i like it i like it and with it being a medium soft kind of feel, I more so use this brush to add shine to my hair or right after a fresh cut, like I'm getting soon. You feel me? I got the do-rag on all that. But I use this brush more so when I want to apply shine or spread some product through my hair, like a hair, a light hair oil, or when I get a fresh cut to add that beautiful shine and knock out some of the, uh, some of the loose hair before I go wash my hair. You dig? So as far as the bristles and how they feel, they feel really good. I, I, it gives, I give it a check plus, you know what I'm saying, in that category. I give it a real check plus in that category, for real. I like the bristles, they feel good. Now as for the construction of the brush, it's a black brush. It's like a, it's like a glossy finish on it, you know what I'm saying, nice and shiny. The label, the Persona Worldwide label is not just like printed on there, it's engraved in there. like. It's in there, you can hear that, it's in there, you dig? The ridges, it has ridges right here and right here. Obviously, this brush is to be held like this. Four fingers up top, thumb at the bottom, get your brushing in, you know what I'm saying? It's, it, it, you can hold on to it pretty well if you do it like that. It's real good, but I know a lot of people like to hold their brushes like this, get a brush, but it's, if you use it like this, it's pretty dope. You get a lot of grip on it. Also, on the construction of the brush, I don't know if y'all could see if her camera will pick it up well, but these bristles are somewhat spaced out. So it makes it easier for cleaning and whatnot. Um, they're not all compact close together like a lot of uh, curved brushes are. Curved palms, cur curved handles. Yeah, this, this brush has some spaces in there which makes it very easy for cleaning. Very easy for cleaning. Now, the Persona Worldwide brush looks a lot like the cold label black water brush you know they both glossy black both have the logo engraved on the back both have the ridges on the side so you can get that grip but the persona worldwide um brush the grips on the side or indentions if you want to call them that are a little bit deeper and the one like i said the bristles on this brush feel like a medium soft this is a true medium this one has more spacing in the bristles. This one is more compact. Look the same, two different brushes though. Now, would I recommend you go and buy this brush? Yeah, it's a good brush. It's gonna last you a little while if you take good care of it. The bristles are spaced, like I said, easy clean. You know what I'm saying? As long as you clean your brushes properly and often, your brush gonna last you for a while, you know? I like the brush. I like the engraving of the logo. I like the feel of the bristles. I definitely love the indentions on the side so you can get that grip in there. In my opinion, it's a very good brush and I think y'all should go get it. I'm gonna leave that Instagram page right here, right here, right here. Go click that. I'm gonna leave a link to their website in the description below. You feel me? If you like this video, drop a like for the kid. If you dislike this video, go ahead and drop a dislike. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, click that red button down there and subscribe. We trying to get to 2,000 
subs, you feel me? 2,000 subs, we hit 1,100, we trying to get to 2,000, you feel me? If you wanna say something to me, leave a comment in the comment box. I'ma look at it, like it, respond, love it, all of that. Follow me on the ground, two send away, sensei, I'm gone. Peace, y'all.